welcome back mga kamatlets It's me again, Teacher Robert So in our previous video, we discuss about uh, solving problems involving uh, conversion of units Now in this video, we will discuss about uh, translating verbal phrase into a mathematical phrase Okay so, one of the important aspects in solving problems in algebra is a working knowledge of the ability to translate the statement in algebraic symbols. Now, we have so verbal or English phrase. So, you have it refers to a mathematical statement uh, that is expressed in words. Meanwhile, uh, the mathematical phrase is referred to a mathematical statement that is expressed in symbols such as letters, numbers, and operation. Now, so the symbol of operations and relations with their corresponding meaning are as follows. So, we have operation symbol and its meaning. So, we have this symbol. This symbol is what we call addition. The meaning of that is addition. And addition plus increase by added to the sum of and more than. So those are the meaning of that symbol. Another symbol is this one. So that is subtraction symbol. Minus decrease by subtracted from less than diminished by. So those are the meaning of that symbol. This symbol so that is the multiplication symbols times it could be times uh, pwede tawagin times then multiplied by then the product of then we have this, those symbols we have division divided by then ratio of then the quotient of then that symbol that is equals or it is equal to and then that is is less than that symbol is as a meaning of is greater than that symbol means it less uh, is less than or equal to then is at most then that symbol it means is greater than or equal to or is at least and also lastly that symbol is uh, means not equal to okay for example when you are going to translate uh, verbal phrase into a mathematical phrase, you have to uh, first uh, determine or you have to familiarize those symbol that I have mentioned a while ago in order for you to determine or to translate easily the, the, the verbal phrase into a mathematical phrase. Okay, for example, the verbal phrase, okay, the sum of A and 3. So, it can be translated in mathematical phrase as a, my, uh, a plus 3. Okay? So, since it is sum, it uses the word sum. So, addition. That is plus. The symbol is addition. So, plus. Then, A and 3. So, the sum of A and 3. So, that is A plus 3. Another is 8 more than P. 8 more than P. So, we have more than. So, addition na naman. Addition. So, we have P plus 8 can be translated as P plus 8. Sir, nauna yung P. Okay, nauna kasi more than 8, more than P. So, si P uh, plus 8. Okay. Then, the square of R. The square of R. That means R squared. R squared. The square of R. So, R squared. Okay. So, you have to raise R to 2. So you have to square R. Then, 6 subtracted from B. So, that is B subtracted. So, that is minus. So, we have B minus C. Or 6. B minus 6. Okay? Then, next is the product of 5 and C. So, that means 5 C. So, the product that is multiplication, so that is 5C or 5 times C. Okay? 
or 5C. Okay. Then the quotient of M and 8. The quotient of M and 8. That is division. Division, quotient. M and 8. So that is M divided by 8. So this, the mathematical phrase is M over 8. Okay. This one is thrice x decrease by 2. Thrice. So you have to, you have, since it is thrice, it, uh, that means 3 times. 3 times. So since it use x, this phrase use x. So we have to use x. So thrice x decrease. Decrease means minus. So another is minus. The symbol is minus or subtraction. So, decrease by 2. So, that is 3x minus 2. Then, 1 half of the sum of 5t. 1 half. So, the sum of 5t is 5 plus t. Correct? Because in the first example, we have the sum of 5 and t is 5 plus t. Then, um, uh, 1 half. There's 1 half there. 1 half of sum of 5t. So, we have 1 half times the quantity of 5 plus t. Okay. Next is the sum of the squares of A and B. The squares. Square of A and B. So you have to square A and B. Square of A and square of B. Then get the sum. Uh -huh. The sum of the square. So that is A squared plus B squared. Take note, we have the square of the sum. Kabaliktaran. Baliktad yung word. Pero, uh, pero magkaiba. No? Malaking kaibahan. So, we have the square of the sum. First, you are going to get the sum. Then, get the square. <laughs> Kanina, you have to get the square before you get the sum. Okay? Because that is the sum of the square of A and B. Then this one, the square of the sum of A and B. So we have sum of A and B is A plus B. Then the square is, you have to get a parenthesis then squared. Okay. Then the sum of a number and 5 is 4. Okay, equation. The sum of a number. So since it took about a number, we can represent a number by x. Now, we can represent a number by x. So, we have the sum of a number and 5 is 4. So, we have x. So, let x be the number. So, we have x plus 5 is equal to 4. Okay? This is the sum of a number and 5 is 4. Next is 2 less than a number is less than 3. So, we'll let x as uh, to represent a number, so we have x minus 2 because less than 2. So we have minus 2, then less than 3. Uh, less than 3. No? Is na, we have s, meron siyang s. So ibig sabihin, uh, equation na siya or inequalities. We have is less than. Iba yung less than. Less than is uh, operation symbol sa subtraction is less than is the symbol for this one inequality symbol okay then this one thrice a number x is greater than 15 thrice a number so we have 3x is greater than the symbol greater than than 15 so 3x is greater than 15 okay that is how we're going to translate uh verbal phrase into a mathematical sentence okay thank you that's all so thank you for listening thank you for watching see you in our next video have a good day everyone keep safe always bye bye